Welcome to the ninth vlog in this series called Recover. In this one today, we're going to be talking all about stamina. So we've looked at range, we've looked at high notes, we've built our foundation of our technique. We've looked at building a practice routine in, sorry, I said the word again, a playing routine. Um, and we're ready really now to be looking at going back into ensemble rehearsals, whether it's school band or brass bands. Now, the first thing we're going to be aware of is we're all going to be shattered. You know, everyone's going to be in the same position as you. Um, so stamina, how do we build stamina? So we've got the stamina to be going back to doing these things or back to doing concerts because I pretty much can guarantee the minute we're allowed to play again, we're just going to want to be out there and playing and playing and playing. So we've got to make sure we've got good stamina to really help us through, you know, some probably quite imminent concerts and things like that. So to build stamina, really, really simply, it's we've got to look at the same as if we're running or so to build stamina, it's the same as if we were running or doing any kind of physical exercise. We're going to do a physical thing. So we've got to build up our endurance. The way we do that is really, 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 really simple. What we're going to do is we're just going to take a really simple exercise. We're going to take a scale. We're going to take C major and we're going to play a slow trill. So we're going to go. And we're going to work up the way and go as high as we can in our range. And we're going to do that until we kind of feel these muscles down here burning and we will feel it you know we will feel that kind of burn concentrate on keeping the mouthpiece light as well if that's not getting you the burn take it to the sea above and if that's not getting you the burn quick enough flutter tongue on top of it and that will then actually put everything in place and build up your strength. So if you can flutter tongue, which you should hopefully be able to by now, make sure that we try that even on our low one. Because what that's doing is pulling all the muscles into the right place as well as working them at the same time. So it's a really, really, really strong and powerful exercise to keep your stamina going and keep it built up. The other thing about stamina that we don't think about is recovery. So when we've worked our muscles and we've got the ache in here, whether it's been done by playing loads and loads of tunes that we're enjoying online, or whether it's been done by um, by doing these exercises and you know, deliberately wearing everything down, flutter tongue in, quiet notes, all the rest of it, perhaps in our high notes, um, we've got to make sure that we do recover. Now, there's two ways to do it. The kind of traditional way is that you see brass players doing is the kind of horse flappy thing, the <laughs> kind of thing. Um, you do look a bit crazy standing, especially if you're in public and you're at a bus stop going I would forget sometimes when I was at music college and be waiting for the bus. Really not cool, especially when you're English and especially when you're living in Glasgow. Um, so we tend to have to find other ways to do it. Now, that is quite good. It gets the vibration going to the lips quite quick, which is good. But if we were an athlete, if we were a football player or something else, uh, a runner or something like that, we would, if we were professional, we would have a massage straight after we've been working out and especially when we had a heavy workout. So why can't we do that as brass players? We can, dead easy. Just take your finger and your thumb and just use that motion across your jawline. So I'm working across here and then I'm going to work down into this V, this diamond shape here. So I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to really try to pull the muscles. So really what I'm doing is I'm just kneading the muscles with my fingers, you know, even pulling down on them like that. And what I'm imagining as I'm doing that is I'm imagining that I've got a set of muscles that run like this all the way down, like a mustache, the top of the diamond, the bottom of the diamond, a ball around the chin, like, you know, there's definitely a big meeting place of muscles in here. Um, and then along the jawline as well. So, and then down this way. So I'm kind of just imagining all the angles that the muscles would go and just working around as well. So massaging and it will really help let the blood flow back through the muscles which then in turn will help us recover quicker as well so this week um coming up to the last video clip um again keep playing keep enjoying yourself you should maybe be back at rehearsals now if groups are back on if not just keep practicing keep i said it again keep playing um keep working through the pieces that you enjoy and keep working through this routine that we've built up over the last like nine video clips